Goldfinger, the third installment in the iconic James Bond film series, released in the mid-1960s, stands as a paradigm of the spy genre, seamlessly blending suspense, luxury, and technology. This movie not only set a high bar for future Bond films, but also became a cultural touchstone. Its influence extends beyond mere entertainment, as it left an indelible mark on cinema and popular culture. One might wonder, what makes Goldfinger so memorable? Is it the ingenious plot, the charismatic villain, or the timeless charm of Sean Connery as James Bond? Perhaps it's a specific scene or a moment that resonates deeply with viewers. For many, this film is not just a cinematic experience, but a repository of cherished memories. As we delve into the world of Zoo 7, we invite you to reflect on your personal connection with this classic. Do you have a cherished memory associated with Goldfinger? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's explore some intriguing aspects of the film. From its groundbreaking gadgets to the unforgettable Aston Martin DB5, Goldfinger introduced elements that became quintessential to the Bond franchise. The movie's title song, performed by Shirley Bassey, set a gold standard for future Bond themes, blending drama and allure. Moreover, the film's impact on fashion, with Bond's elegant suits, and on technology, with its portrayal of cutting-edge devices, cannot be overstated. Goldfinger also marked a shift in the Bond series, from relatively straightforward spy thrillers to more elaborate and fantastical adventures. This transition was pivotal in shaping the direction of future Bond films, which continued to blend exotic locations, elaborate plots, and a touch of the surreal. In conclusion, Goldfinger is not just a film, it's an experience that has woven itself into the fabric of popular culture. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of James Bond and a reminder of the power of cinema to create lasting memories. We look forward to reading about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Goldfinger, the third installment in the James Bond film series, epitomizes the essence of the classic spy thriller, merging intrigue with groundbreaking style. This 1964 cinematic jewel unfolds the tale of James Bond, the suave British secret agent, as he uncovers the nefarious plot of the film's namesake villain, Oric Goldfinger. Goldfinger's audacious scheme to contaminate the United States Bullion Depository at Fort Knox stands at the heart of the story, challenging Bond's wit and resourcefulness. The film introduces iconic characters such as the loyal but lethal Ajab, with his deadly bowler hat and the enigmatic pussy galore, whose loyalties are as complex as her character. The stylish portrayal of gadgets, cars, and sophisticated charm set a new benchmark in spy films, influencing not just the Bond series, but the entire genre. The movie's impact on popular culture is profound. Phrases like a martini, shaken, not stirred, and the haunting image of a woman covered in gold paint have become deeply ingrained in public consciousness. Goldfinger not only cemented Sean Connery's portrayal of Bond as legendary, but also established a template for action films that is mimicked to this day. From its iconic opening credits sequence to its memorable dialogue, the film is a time capsule of 1960s style and Cold War era intrigue, a testament to the enduring allure of the Bond saga. Delving into the behind the scenes details of the classic spy thriller, an intriguing fact emerges about the lead actor, Sir Sean Connery. While filming Connery, married to Diane Silento at the time, took a unique approach to conceal his wedding ring. He wore a flesh-colored bandage over the ring, a detail occasionally visible in production stills. This subtle yet significant aspect highlights the dedication to maintaining the illusion of the character's bachelor status, an essential trait of the suave secret agent James Bond. This commitment to character and detail is a testament to Connery's professionalism and the film's meticulous production values, contributing to its lasting appeal and influence on the spy genre. Transitioning seamlessly from the intriguing details of Sean Connery's dedication to his role in Goldfinger, it's fascinating to explore another unique aspect of this classic film's production. Surprisingly, Sir Sean Connery never set foot in the United States during the making of this iconic spy thriller. All scenes where Connery appears to be in the U.S. were actually filmed at Pinewood Studios, located just outside London. This detail might seem minor, but it significantly influenced certain production elements. For instance, a keen-eyed viewer may notice a discrepancy in the scene where Bond discovers the golden corpse of Jill. In this sequence, Bond flips a light switch downwards, a movement characteristic of British light switches, which typically operate in the opposite manner to those found in the U.S. 
This subtle inconsistency hints at the geographical reality behind the filming locations. Moreover, the production team's commitment to creating a convincing portrayal of American settings without leaving Britain showcases their resourcefulness and ingenuity. Director Guy Hamilton and his team employed clever techniques such as rear projection to blend scenes with the main actors, who were all in Britain, into the Miami settings. In fact, Sek Lender, who played Felix, was the only main actor who actually filmed his parts in Miami. The rest, including Connery, Gerd F. R. B. E., Shirley Eaton, Margaret Nolan, and Austin Wallis, performed their roles in Britain. This was achieved with the use of stand-ins for long shots and carefully orchestrated editing. This behind-the-scenes fact not only sheds light on the film industry's capacity for creating illusions, but also underscores the lengths to which filmmakers go to maintain the narrative's authenticity, regardless of logistical challenges. Such dedication to detail and creative problem-solving contributes to the timeless appeal of Goldfinger, making it a standout film in the James Bond series and an enduring example of cinematic craftsmanship. Transitioning from the innovative filming techniques and Sean Connery's dedication in this iconic film, another fascinating aspect of Goldfinger lies in its groundbreaking use of technology, particularly the Aston Martin DB5. This car, equipped with an array of gadgets, became as famous as the film itself. Among these gadgets, the tire shredder stands out for its unique inspiration. This feature was influenced by the scythe chariots featured in the historical epic Ben-Hur, released five years earlier. The idea of incorporating a tire shredding device in James Bond's car was a creative leap, blending ancient warfare tactics with modern spy thriller elements. Furthermore, the Aston Martin's famous ejector seat, a highlight in the film's thrilling chase sequences, has an intriguing origin. It was suggested by the stepson of director Guy Hamilton, adding a personal touch to the film's innovative gadgetry. This piece of trivia not only shows the creative minds behind Goldfinger, but also how family influences can play a role in cinematic creativity. The inclusion of these advanced features in the Aston Martin DB5 set a new standard for the spy genre, blending fantasy with reality in a way that captivated audiences and left a lasting impact on popular culture. The film's use of such imaginative technology not only enhanced the storytelling, but also cemented the James Bond franchise's reputation for blending high-tech gadgets with stylish action. The legacy of the Aston Martin DB5, with its scythe chariots-inspired tire shredder and the uniquely suggested ejector seat, continues to be a hallmark of the James Bond series, influencing the design and concept of spy gadgets in films that followed. Goldfinger remains a testament to creative innovation and cinematic excellence, a standard for action films worldwide. As the final credits of the iconic 1964 masterpiece roll, it's not just the end of an extraordinary cinematic journey, but the beginning of a personal reflection. Goldfinger, with its blend of suave sophistication, gripping action and timeless charm, has left an indelible mark on the world of film and on the hearts of its audience. Think back to the first time you encountered the allure of this classic. Was it the innovative storytelling that captivated you? Or perhaps it was the unforgettable characters, their lives intricately woven into a narrative that's as much about intrigue as it is about human connections. Consider the film's legendary scenes the golden allure of Shirley Eaton as Jill Masterson, the ingenious gadgets that seem light years ahead of their time, or the heart-pounding suspense that kept you on the edge of your seat. Which moment resonated with you the most? What emotions did it stir in your heart? This movie, a cultural phenomenon of its era, has likely touched your life in some unique way. I invite you to share these memories and thoughts. Did it inspire you, change your perspective on cinema, or perhaps ignite a lifelong passion for the world of espionage and adventure? Your experiences and reflections are a testament to the enduring legacy of this film. Each story is a unique thread in the rich tapestry of its history. Thank you sincerely for your time and interest. Your engagement breathes new life into the classic magic of cinema, keeping the spirit of timeless storytelling alive.